Hello Africa, this is Business Africa. It's right here on Africa News and I am Ignatius Anno. Our top stories. Gambia inks a deal with BP for oil and gas exploration off its coast. Congo to get badly needed support from the IMF as China agrees to restructure its debts. And a little later we head to Senegal where stakeholders in business get schooled on how to use information to be competitive. Thank you for joining me. The Gambian government has said it has signed a contract with BP to explore oil and gas off its coast. The government of President Adama Barrow is trying to build up Gambia's oil and gas sector as a way of reviving an economy gutted by more than two decades of autocratic rule under former president Yaya Jami. In a brief statement, Barrow's office said he had met with BP representatives at the presidential palace. But they gave no further details. BP, on the other hand, did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Minister for Petroleum and Energy said BP would first carry out an environmental impact assessment at the A1 offshore block. Fafa Sanyang told Reuters, quote, after all, that they will work on a two-year program for drilling. After a specific time, they will work on the financial terms, end quote. The A1 block was one of two that President Adama Barrow's government stripped from Norwegian-listed African Petroleum Corporation in 2017, saying the licenses had expired. The company disputed that and launched arbitration proceedings in October 2017. No resolution has been announced in the case. The two blocks are thought to contain up to 3 million barrels of oil and lie next to licenses in neighboring Senegal, where big discoveries have been made. Barrow's office said in a brief statement on Tuesday that he had met BP representatives at the presidential palace but provided no further details. BP did not immediately respond to a request for comment as at the time of filing this report. Gambia is bordered by Senegal and is one of the smallest African nations with 80-kilometer coastline. According to a 2010 World Bank report, the West African nation rely solely on imported petroleum to meet its commercial energy needs. So, for instance, diesel is heavily imported to generate electricity. And joining us to discuss the essence of this new deal is Mamadou Sabali, an economist based in Banjul, the Gambia. Mr. Sabali, thank you for joining us. So how important is this new deal to the Gambia? The entry of BP into Gambia's uh, efforts to harness uh, hydrocarbon resources is a welcome development. Uh, if the efforts uh, actually bear fruit, this could completely transform the Gambia's economy and uh, help uh, foster actually a socio-economic transformation in terms of uh, the delivery of services in health, education, and even agriculture that needs a, a huge investment of resources to make it uh, commercially viable. So BP coming into signing a deal with the Gambia for the exploitation, uh, exploration and eventually exploitation of uh, oil in this country is a very good omen for the Gambia. And uh, if everything goes well, this could bring about a turnaround of the economy. Now, this block to BP is being contested by a Norwegian firm. It alleges that President Adama Barrow withdrew its license illegally. How is this supposed to pan out? Uh, it's common knowledge that uh, big multinationals normally try to take advantage of the situation of uh, uh, resource-constrained uh, small countries like the Gambia. So I think uh, the Gambia government did the right thing by uh, signing a new deal with BP. Uh, the Norwegian firm has every right to contest this through international arbitration. Furthermore, the new dispensation in the Gambia here is very observant of uh, contracts and uh, matters relating to the rule of law. So I believe the government would have uh, done due diligence before signing a new contract with British Petroleum. So the Norwegian firm contesting this is not a source of concern for me personally. 
And has the nation strong enough governance mechanisms that will allow Gambians uh, to benefit from this resource? I believe that uh, Gambia finding oil now would uh, definitely be a good time because uh, it's most likely that the government would not have a choice but to deliver the goods uh, as expected. Uh, the government might need the policy support though in terms of making sure that the discovery of oil does not have the usual negative side effects that we found in other countries like Nigeria where discovery of oil could lead to uh, a situation where other sectors with huge potential like agriculture could be neglected. We, we're hoping this time around it will not happen. And uh, with recent developments in, the, in some of the policies by the Ministry of Finance of this country, it's, it's certain that we will need some greater policy support to make sure that the macroeconomic fundamentals are right and macroeconomic policies are sound, relevant and dynamic enough to make sure that the expected resources that would come from the oil uh, oil explo exploitation would uh, be rightfully and uh, very smartly deployed so that uh, there could be uh, positive ripple effects and uh, positive externalities from the oil sector to the other sectors of the economy. Mamoudou Sabali is an economist and former president under the Yaya Jame regime. You're watching Business Africa and we'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.